Hey guys, it's GED question of the daytime and we're still working on writing expressions, which is a really base skill that'll help you in both interpreting word problems and in the land of algebra, the two biggies on the GED math test. So let's take a look. It says Rahul spent some of his savings in order to buy a car for $4,200. His savings account balance was 5680 before purchasing the car. Write an expression to represent the money left in his account. Okay, so what are they asking me to do? They're asking me to write an expression. Now, what is an expression? Well, um, expressions are what GED students usually term the problem. You're not going to hear a math teacher very frequently call it the problem, but that's what you guys tend to think of it. What an expression is, is it's just some combination of numbers and operations. So basically I'm telling you to take these two numbers and put them together with an operation, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, uh, etc. Okay, so we want to write an expression to represent the money left in his account. The money left. Okay, so first of all, I just want to say that we're starting with some number of money and we're taking a piece out. If we're looking for how much uh, money he has left, we're talking about how much is left after we take a, some of the money out. Well, the day we talked about basic operations, we said, well, my goodness, um, you know, if you start with some total and you take a piece out, that is a perfect picture of subtraction. So yes, I could totally work this as a subtraction problem. Now, I, if I do it as a subtraction problem, I need to have the total the, or the starting amount first. So how much did his bank account start with? Well, it says his savings account balance was 5680 before purchasing the car. So that's the starting amount. So we'll start with that. And then we'll subtract his spending. You know, that's what happens when you spend something, they take the money out of your account. So it looks like he spent some of his savings in order to buy a car for $4,200. He spent $4,200. So this is definitely one right way to write this expression. 5,680 minus 4,200. And I think this is how most GED students would write it. So I'm not going to give a long lecture about any other way to write it, but I do just want to nod to the fact there's one other right answer. You could say that he spent $4,200 and he started with positive 5680 in his account. So if you happen to write it this way, which would be very unusual, but just know that your answer is completely equivalent to that one. Those two are absolutely equal. But this is the one most GED students would write, and this is the one that most likely um, would show up in the multiple choice answers if this particular uh, question was asked on the GED. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it.